Whether you're a trainee, associate or partner in a law firm can make a material difference to your mortgage application process. I'm here with Courtney Flockhart who works extensively with solicitors. Um, let's start with trainees, Courtney. Um, what does the mortgage landscape look like for a trainee solicitor? It can be quite difficult because a lot of them will start with trainee contracts and they're for a fixed term. So a lot of lenders get a little bit antsy, a little bit concerned as to whether or not they'll be reviewed at the end. So once you get to the end of the 12 months, they're concerned, is this income going to continue? A lot of solicitors will start on a very high starting salary after being at uni for that time to get there. So it's, it's about us proving that they're at one of the Magic Circle firms. We can really prove that even if they, the firm that they were at didn't want to keep them, another firm is definitely going to want them. So we can evidence that by saying, listen, they've trained for however many years, they've, they've gone to one of these magic circle firms and they're definitely, the income will definitely continue at the level. And then when they switch to an associate, the income will just be higher and higher and higher. And you achieve that through knowing the right lenders and the right people to talk to, presumably? Correct. There's a lot of lenders that are happy with it and a lot of lenders that won't touch it. So we naturally just avoid those lenders and go straight to the ones that we know are happy. So let's move on to associates, um, increasing income, fairly reliable bonuses. I suspect that's a much happier landscape when you're looking at the availability of the market. It definitely is. A lot of firms set out a set bonus structure depending on the year that you started as an associate. So it's really easy for us to forecast what their income will be over the next few years and know that the mortgages will be affordable at the required level. A lot of them will say, you're starting at this and this is your bonus and then we know the next year your bonus will be this. And in some circumstances we can get lenders to take that into account to boost them the amount they need and make sure that they can buy the property that they need. And how does that change uh, when the solicitor makes partner of the firm, either salaried or equity partner? Uh, what, what, what's the impact of that in terms of what the market can offer and the concerns that the market may have around income? A lot of lenders, again, are a little bit concerned about things like that because it's a change and they can't project it forward because they don't have the previous year's figure. So when it comes to being a switch from being employed to self-employed, we don't have previous year's figures. We don't have two years of self-employment, which a lot of lenders will require. So the way we typically evidence that is, is use evidence of their in employed income because they're staying at the same firm. We can prove what their income was before and they're not going to make that switch to earn any less money. And did lenders have a, a problem with international law firms? So perhaps a, a lawyer in London who is a partner in the US firm and is receiving US partnership profits, does, 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 does that cause trouble when you're trying to explain the profile to a lender? Some lenders won't be happy with that purely because they're aware that the income will be originally denominated in dollars and they won't touch it because they don't like it. But there are plenty of lenders out there that will consider it. Some of them will take a haircut on the income to just account for any fluctuations in currency. But a lot of them will still consider it because we, again, can prove that this is a very large law firm, that, that we don't have any concerns with income and we prove it that way. So you obviously help solicitors at all stages of their career. Yeah. Um, you know, what are you typically doing to help them? We're just giving them everything we can in the sense of finding the best possible option for them, using our market knowledge and presenting their income in the way that we know that yes, they might only be an associate now, but in 10 years, they'll be a partner and, and we really sell that story of their career and where we think they're going.